right, good morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you may be. This is Dr. Sarah Renee Langley welcoming you into this beautiful, glorious new year and making sure that what I'm sharing with you is relevant and timeless so that anytime that you see this video, whether it's going to be 10 years from now, whether it be in the next month, in the next minute, or whenever, that is still relevant for you. And I wanted to talk to you today real quick about how to make a real vision board. Okay, one that is really going to usher your future into your present state, your present moment. So, of course, around this time, we're always talking about New Year's resolutions. We're talking about, you know, what are we going to do differently? And every year, I don't know about you. I know for me, I had, I gave up on resolutions at one point because I'm like, every time I say this, I don't seem to really last <laughs> in fulfilling my resolutions. So it is said that people will start something within this month and they'll quit within giving people credit up to 21 days between 10 and 21 days they will stop doing the resolutions well why why does that happen well part of it has to do with the mindset we have conditioned our minds or our minds have been, have been conditioned to the point that we have given ourselves a certain time limit if we don't see the results that we want to see within that time frame then we'll stop we'll say oh Okay, well, there's no need. I didn't get the results that I was looking for. It was too hard. We'll make up excuses. We'll go with what our brain tells us to do. And therefore, we, will not, we won't do it anymore. So that said, we have to flip the script. We have to do something different to get a different result. So what I wanted to bring to you today is talking about how can you do a real vision board? We're so visual. There are certain ways of how we actually take in information, whether we're kinesthetic, whether we're audio, audible, auditory rather whether we're visual but let's talk about the fact of a lot of things that we see we're really taking in information and we're processing it in such a way that it now play part in how we do things how we fulfill goals how we achieve results so we have to really consider what are we putting in front of ourselves what is in our peripheral so that said i really want to talk about vision boards now you may have done one before i'm not sure talk back to me have you ever done a vision board did you do your vision board already and if so put that in the comment section if you have your vision board completed if you already or are you starting your vision board i just really wanted to give you some nuggets on how to make it really pop <laughs> in such a way that it will bring your future to your present and what do i mean by that Hey, Yolanda, good morning to you. Thank you for tuning in. Everyone who is joining, I appreciate you. Thank you for tuning in. I know that your time is important, it's valuable, and it's precious. And I thank you for sharing your time with me in these few minutes. Hey, Mal, how you doing? Thank you for tuning in. So here is how you really do your vision board. If you can see behind me, I purposely decided to do the live here right in front of what is behind me. Now, you may not do it this way. That's fine. However you do it is however you do it. But as long as you do it a different way so that you can actually see the results that you're looking for. So behind me, so this is my house. So I was able to <laughs> post or pin up certain things that I wanted to see in my peripheral every morning. So every time I wake up in the morning, I do my process. You know, if you're from Canada, you would understand and appreciate how I just said process as process. But how I do my process is I wake up and I see I'm visual, so I will see what is be before me. And what's before me, well, if I turn to my right, this is what is going to be before me. And what I have put up is one of my vo my goals for 2020 and beyond is to be rich <laughs> so that I can further my message, I can expand my reach so that I can simultaneously create the lifestyle that I deserve and I desire. So that said, because of the fact that my goal and my heart's desire is to really make an impact in the masses to the masses in this whole entire world in providing counseling coaching consulting services at large to those who are really in need of it i really want to be in a position to be rich to have the money to have the funds and the resources to help me to further my message to expand my reach so that i can simultaneously create the lifestyle that i desire and deserve so what better way to be rich than to be among them so if i want to be that then i'm going to make sure that i see that in front of me so what I did was, you could put this on your vision board. So people do their vision boards so different in various ways. So people would cut out pictures and they would post them on um, a board and they would put words on them so that they could be inspired. I'm not knocking that. That's fine. I'm just talking about just taking it to another level. 
So you do not have to do what I just did, but why not be among them? So if your goal is to make money, to have lots of money and things like that, first of all, know your intention. Why do you want to have money? Let's dispel some things here. Why do you want to be rich? Why do you want to have money? Is it because you want to feel important? Is it because you want to build up your esteem? Is it because you want to brag and you want to prove people wrong? Because that may be very well the wrong intention to have. You may not see that result because of the fact of what your intention is. It's not necessarily for anyone else. You're making it for yourself. And that isn't what you do when it comes to asking for certain things, when it comes to money, when it comes to success, when it comes to getting things. I'm not knocking. If these are on your wish list, okay, that's fine. But if you want to see it much more, you know, happen quickly as a result in your in your space and your experience, then this is the way to go. Your intention should be okay. So like I said earlier, my intention for what I do is that I want to be able to expand my reach. I want to further my message so that I can then simultaneously create the lifestyle that I desire and I deserve. So my intention is to expand my reach. My intention is to further my message. So it's about order. Everything is about decency and order. So make sure that your reason for what you're doing when you have your vision board, don't let it be every year. This is exactly why these resolutions do not last because what was the intention behind it? And what was the press for it? And what was the sacrifice towards it? What are you going to do that is going to help you to now complete your vision, complete your goal. Don't, it's, it's one thing to start the goal. It's another thing to complete it. It's another thing to cross it. We all know how to get to the finish line, but this year set your intention and your mindset to say, I'm crossing the finish line. Don't do the same thing every day, every year. And then it's like, you're expecting a different result. If you're doing the same thing, you want to keep getting the same thing. So let's do it different. Come on now, this is 2020, y'all. <laughs> let's do this different for a change. So that said, you can do your vision board where you can cut out pictures of things that you desire to have. If you want to have a car, if you want to have a house, if you want to have that spouse, if you want to have that significant other, if you want to have that puppy, cool, that's fine. I'm not knocking that. I'm saying if you want to take it to another level and you want to really see it accelerate and you want to see the result actually happen, then let's take it up to the point of why not be among them? So my desire is, hey, to be rich. Okay, why? Because of the fact that I want to expand my reach, because I want to further my message so that I can then simultaneously create the lifestyle that I desire and deserve. If you had a chance to listen to my um, Facebook Live yesterday, if you didn't, please go to it because I talked about the very two things that keeps us really from moving forward. Having counseled people so for so many years, <laughs> so many people, I found out and I was able to narrow down two things that really holds us up in our results. If you'd like to know, put in the comment section, Dr. Sarah, talk to me. What are those two things that holds us up from our blessings, from our goals? Hey, Norman, thank you for tuning in. I know this is real talk. Thank you, sir. Hey, Robin, good morning to you. How you doing, dear? Thank you for tuning in. Hey, Anthony, happy belated birthday to you. Happy New Year. Thank you for tuning in. Hey, Jessica, good morning. Thank you for tuning in, everyone. All right, so what it is, those two things that really holds us up from our results, easiness and deserve, deserving. It's too easy for us to not do certain things. It's too easy to stay in our comfort zone. It's too easy to remain stuck and complain about it. So that's why we don't get the results that we're looking for because it's too easy not to. It's too easy not to do certain things, but yet we still want the results that we want. It's too easy to say every year because it's now a habit to say, okay, this year I'm serious now. This year I am going, we're going to the Super Bowl this year. <laughs> this year we are going to make it or whatever. It's too easy to say that, but are we doing what is necessary to make it happen? Or are we just now creating the habit year after year just to say that we at least did something and at least we could complain about it. Like, oh, well, I didn't get to get that done and I didn't get the results that I was looking for, so I stopped. It's too easy to stop. And this is exactly why we don't get what we want because of the fact that we don't hang in there, because of the fact that our intentions weren't sincere, pure, real, actual, because of the fact that we're looking at everyone else and we're comparing ourselves to them and then hating on them. Why are we focusing on haters? I noticed that a lot too. And I, I don't worry, I'm gonna to get to the vision board. I noticed that in a lot of posts, how we're talking so much about haters, you know, we're, we're talking about how we shouldn't, 
do certain things anymore in terms of um I I I, I look I digress, I digress. It can't it just it just it gets me so much about how what we our focus are on as opposed to focusing on the right things. Instead of us focusing on the haters, instead of focusing on what people have done to us, instead of a, you know of of us talking bad about everything and everyone, why don't we shift our mindset and our focus on what we do want instead of focusing on what we don't want, <laughs> what we cannot stand, why not this year focus on what we do want and what we would love to happen and experience and you know manifest this time around? It is a matter of doing things differently to get a different result. And this is exactly what I'm talking about regarding the vision board, regarding your resolution. Please don't give up unless your intention wasn't really, if anything, this is where you have to check yourself. We're so busy looking at everyone else, but we don't pay enough attention to ourselves. I talked about that in the other lives, so make sure that you check it out. This is how you go about it in terms of getting things right and decency and in order to now accelerate and see the manifestation of your dreams and your desires. Set your intention first and foremost, correctly and accurately. Don't make it about you fully and completely. You can include you, but don't make it all about you. Make it about a higher purpose, a higher goal. You're here for a reason. You're not just here by happenstance. You're not just here because an accident happened. You actually are here on purpose. This may be cliche, you may have heard this before, but now it's one thing to have heard it, it's another thing to accept it, to allow it in your heart. And to now set your intention accurately. That it's not all about you, just to make you feel better, to make you feel important, to make you feel or stand out, to prove your point. But rather, change it around and work it out in such a way that now it has purpose, it has, it has meaning behind it. Set your intention with your resolution, with your vision board, with your goals, that it makes a difference in someone else's life. This is part of the reason why I've always shared my story. I didn't have to share a lot of the things that I shared in social media land, but I've done it because I wanted to make sure that there will be people that's going to go through what I've been through, what my mother been through, what our family has been through. So that you take notes so that when it's your turn, you know exactly what to do. Pull out your notes and say, okay, this is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm not going to do. It was to really be a blessing to help you. No matter how painful, how embarrassing, how mortifying it was for me, for my family. I looked at it as overall, the bigger picture was you. The bigger picture was how can I help and be a blessing? Knowing that even in my mom's state, while she was a private, well, she was a quiet person. She was a shy person, but because she trusted me enough, even in her state of being as she was with that dreaded disease that I knew in my spirit, I knew in my heart that she knew that my intentions were good and for, and to share our story, that it would bless someone to help someone make it through. And the result that I received was, hey, my mom got to speak when she wasn't even able to speak. She was able to impact lives that she never imagined to have impacted lives worldwide, not just in Pennsylvania, not just on the East Coast, not just in the U.S. of A., but worldwide. She left a legacy. I'm going to, and that's why I got my tissues to not cry. <laughs> she left a legacy. I was honored and proud to be her daughter and to serve her like I did. And it moved me to purpose to now say, you know what? I was able to do this. So now what's next? She released me to live so that I can now fully be of service and a blessing to you all. She's happy and she is whole and she is healed and she's complete. So my assignment as a caregiver has completed. My assignment as this world-renowned, <laughs> world-renowned, top-notch, first-class, highly sought-after, thought leader, influencer, coach, leadership coach, consultant, counselor. My journey as that begins and my desire and my mission and my goal here today for you is to now Set you up right 
even if it upsets you, that's fine. I don't mind disrupting your your way, your old pattern, your old cycles, your old ways. Because my goal is to now upset you to set you up right. So to set you up right, that means that I need to now question how are you going about your goals? How are you going about your vision board? How are you going about your resolution? This is how you do it. First and foremost, set your intention right. Don't make it all about you. Include you. Don't make it all about you. Have it have meaning, purpose, that it's going to impact someone else. In your goal, your vision board, your resolution, then you now set it accordingly. Again, you can cut out pictures. You can put it on a poster and you can have it in front of you. You can do what I did. You can tape it if you can or you can put holes in your wall if you own it. <laughs> what I've done with my vision board is literally included myself in it. So if my goal is to make money, to be rich, but be specific though with your goal. If you want to be rich, okay, what does that mean? If you want to make an X amount of money each month, that's a better way because now it's measurable, it's tangible, it's you, you're able to track it. So be clear and be precise as to what you want your goal to be. Don't just make it arbitrary. Don't just make it ambiguous. Don't just make it general, but really be specific. Set your intention accurately. Make your goals specific as to what you want to attain. Have it be visual because of the fact that we are already programmed and we're already conditioned based on what we do see, what we do hear, what we do take in. Let's now unlearn certain things to make room to learn the right things this year so that you can really see the results that you're looking for. All right. So what I've done was, again, you don't have to do it like I did, but you can do something similar. You can get a poster. You can put pictures of people who represent or objects that represent the goal that you are after you want to attain. So if I said I wanted to be rich, um, that I wanted to make a certain amount of money per month or whatever, I said that I want to now be among them. So here is here it is. So I'm trying to make my money so that I can now further my reach, expand my mess, expand, expand my reach and further my message so that I can impact the masses worldwide. Therefore, I will then uh, create the lifestyle that I desire and that I deserve. So behind me, uh, you see Oprah, you see my Welch's. I love, if anybody ever want to send me something, I love my Welch's fruit snacks, but don't, you know, disregard that. So I have put up a picture of people who are famous, who are rich, who makes money. But hey, have y'all noticed that, that gorgeous, gorgeous woman in that red and black? <laughs> Do y'all know who she is? If y'all don't, y'all will this year. <laughs> I have put up people that I admire, people that I respect, people that are in that category of who I classify as rich. So I put myself right in the middle of that. And every day I think about how, and I speak affirmations, which is another big, oh my God, big, big part of this. I mentioned earlier about how I've been noticing these posts out there. We're talking about, we say so many negative things. We may be joking. We may be not serious, but you have to be mindful of what you say and what you allow into your space, what you allow in here and what you say from here, because life and death truly is in the power of the tongue. So be mindful of what you say this year, be mindful of how you, you think as well. Because the way that you think determines how you behave. Hey, Rodney. Good morning. Hey, Daniel. Hey, Trevini. How are you doing? Happy New Year's to you. Hey, Blessed in Him. How are you doing, Akia? How are you doing? Thank you so much for tuning in. Hey, Rachel. Good morning. Look, be mindful of what you say and what you take in this year. If you, if you do not want the same thing, if you're like, why am I getting the same thing every year? Why is it the same way every year? Well, you got to check yourself. Are you doing the same thing? and you're expecting a different result, you're not gonna get the different result if you're doing the same thing. That is hands down, bottom line. So start doing something different and you will get different. So with your vision board, your resolution, your goal, you can go ahead, you can cut up pictures and things like that, but why not put yourself in it? Put a picture of yourself in that whole 
board of what you desire to be. If you want to lose weight, then put a picture of someone that you, you know, aspire not so much to be, but that gives you the goal of you slendering. Matter of fact, why don't you find pictures of you years before, <laughs> you know, what size you were so that now you can see that every day and you affirm, I am slimmer. I am whatever. I am wiser. I am rich. You have to speak and use the words I am. Let me tell you, blessed in him. <laughs> That's another word for another time. But when you use the word I am, it settles it. You're speaking. You're bringing your future into your present state. You're, you're not saying, oh, I will and I shall and I'm going to do. No, you say that every day to, uh, to, to have it. You say that to yourself repeatedly because isn't that how everything is set up in the world anyway? How is it that we became the way that we became, where we are today, whether good, bad, or indifferent? Part of it had to do with what we witnessed. Part of it was how we uh, processed it. Part of it has to do with what we heard over and over and over. When we talk about how people have, and this could be you, this could be someone that you know. When growing up, you heard that you were going to not be anything. You you were good for nothing. When you, And then you... We, we, we question why people are the way that they are today. Why is there crime? Why is there poverty? Why is there lack? Why is it that there's so many people who are hurting and they're not where they want to be? Part of it has to do with what has been said and has been in their space. But now I come to you to break that, to disrupt that, that it does not have to continue to be that way. You actually do have control over this. And the way that you control your life is in bringing your future to your present is now placing yourself in it. Having pictures, having visuals for yourself of where you want to go and what you aspire to be. Beyond just cutting up the pictures, you can cut up the pictures and put them on there, but place yourself on it is what I'm saying. That's really the secret to all of this. Put yourself somewhere in that. What I did was I wanted to be rich. I know that's a general statement, but because I said you have to break it down so that you can be able to measure it, you can track it and, and you know it's, it's precise, but for the point, I said, I want to be rich. Why? Because of my intention. My intention is to further my message and to expand my reach so that I can impact the masses and simultaneously create the lifestyle that I desire and deserve. Two hangups that keeps us from really getting to our goals is the fact that we don't feel like, it, because it's too easy to not do anything. It's too easy to be stuck. It's too easy to be complacent. And the second one is deserving. We don't feel that like we deserve. We don't, my God, we don't feel like we are deserving enough of our desires. I come to tell you that you absolutely are. You absolutely are. You are deserving of it. And, no, and I know that it's easier said than done. It's easier for me to say that to you. And your mindset may already be conditioned to say that, no, I'm not deserving. And here's why. But just know I'm here to plant a seed. At least plant a seed. You are deserving because it is, you are entitled and it is your birthright. Hands down. It doesn't matter your lifestyle. It doesn't matter what you've been through. It doesn't matter where you come from. It doesn't matter. It is, it is, it is, you are deserving and you are entitled to your desires. So your mantra this year, if anything, if you haven't even come up with one yet, I'm going to give you one right now until you come up with your own. Say to yourself, I, I decide, wait, I decide to, I decide that I deserve my desires. There you go. I decide I deserve my desires. 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 You have to make the decision, if anything, of where you want to go and how you want to live your life, how you want to shape it up, how you want to bring your future to your present state. You have to set the intention accurately. Make it not just about you, include you, but don't make it all about you. This is seeing in order. Put yourself in the space, in your visual, in your vision board, in your resolutions, in your goals. Include you somewhere. I did. I said I want to be rich. And I'm among these rich folks right here. Every day that I wake up, I see myself among them. And best believe you're going to see me among them, literally. <laughs> because that is what I aspire. I speak it in, as an affirmation. I am rich. It says that in the Bible, right? 
I am rich. Let the weak say that I am strong. Let the poor say that I am rich. Say I am. Put that in everything that you do. Even if it doesn't feel like it, when you repeat it over and over and over, it's going to become that. You're going to become that. You're going to feel it and you're going to therefore see it. The last thing I want to show you um, in my vision board and see this is, we must be that close y'all when me be showing y'all what I be doing with my time <laughs> in this capacity. Let me see if I can, I'll take it with me. All right, so this is what I did. Just, just I showed you what I've done in terms of how I want to be rich and I'm around, among them. So you can do that for yourself as well. Uh, one thing that I desire, right? So I plan to move. And one place that I want to move is a beautiful area. And I want this particular, um, in this location, I want this particular uh, place um, where I want to have and hold my, my business. What do you call it? <laughs> an office <laughs> thank you so here is my office i don't know if y'all can see it so you got to see it quickly i just showed you know as i was passing i really want y'all to see this there's a couple of other pictures that i put up there but this one here this is where my office is i don't know if anyone had recognized this place but this is where i want my office to be so let me tell y'all i was driving by that place when i was visiting the area that i'm moving to and I said, oh my God, I want that place. I want my I want my office there. It is gorgeous to me. I love it. What I decided to do, I took a picture of that place when I was driving past. I printed it up, as you saw. I put it on my wall every morning. I wake up, I see it. And one day I tell you the truth, y'all. I said, I, I, I imagined myself in it. Y'all better listen. Imagine yourselves having, obtaining the very thing that you desire to have, okay? In your goal, your vision board, your resolution. Picture yourself slim. If your goal is to lose weight, picture yourself then slim. If your goal is to have money, picture yourself with money. If your goal is to have a new car, picture yourself in the car. Picture yourself, y'all. Imagine, feel yourself. Because you know what's interesting? We do that negatively. When it's things that we fear and things that we don't want in our lives, we imagine the worst and then what happens we get it why because we now put it in our mindset we put it in our heart and we kept meditating on that thing and we then for have manifested all i'm saying is do opposite if if it if it's true one way then that means that it's true the other so when i imagined my office i saw i was driving past it i took a picture of it i printed it i started seeing it let me tell you within a week or less i was inside of that place I couldn't believe it. I said, oh my God. I was on the outside looking at it, right? Looking at its inside. Telling myself that I'm going to have my office in there. Then the next minute, I was inside of it. Looking outside. I couldn't believe it. But here's the thing. Because of the fact that I wanted it that bad enough. you Y'all can look. If they're saying that you want bad enough, you will do and you will move heaven and earth to get it when you want it that bad enough. All I'm saying is now kick it up a little bit in your vision board, in your resolutions, in your goals. Really bring yourself in it to the point that you feel it, you think it, you believe it. You practice it. It may not happen just the first few days. Keep at it until you actually make it part of you. Believe in it so that now, and put yourself in it. Now you didn't see a picture of me in it. I actually do, I do have a picture of myself inside. I just didn't print it up yet. But it was just amazing that I pictured myself, I imagined my office and I said, I'm going to be in there. And then the next minute I was in there talking to someone asking about, well, how do I get to rent this? And what was even, even more interesting, the person that I met, the property manager that I met in there from, is from my hood. <laughs> well, she is from my hood in North Philly. And because of the fact that we had kicked it off and we hit it so well that she's making arrangements to ensure that I have my office space in that place. I tell you the truth. I didn't have to worry about the how. You don't ever have to worry about the how. Just show up. Just put yourself in position. And you put yourself in position by setting the intention accurately, making it, including you, not making it about you. You therefore visualize, print it up, put it on your board, but make sure that you put yourself somewhere in it. This is funny. I'm going to show you one more. 
so that you can understand what I'm talking about. So my other goal, another goal of mine is that I want to work with and I want, or I rather want Oprah and, and Michelle to work with me. Okay. So this is what I did. I didn't have a picture of myself with them. Can you see? Uh, here you go. So you see Oprah and <laughs> Michelle and you see me right in between them. So yeah, I, I'm not there with them yet, but when I see that picture and I see the three of us like that, trust and believe you're going to end up seeing me and them together because that is my goal. I want to work with them on a movement that I'm creating. And it really is to, again, impact lives, to impact the masses. So I want to further my, I want to further my reach and expand, like expand my reach and to further my message so that I can impact lives worldwide. And therefore, I create the life that I desire and deserve. So what is your goal? I hope that from whatever you take from this, that it be a blessing to you. So that, again, you can set your intention, kick it up this year, and bring your future to your present. Present. So as you saw, it, it, has, it didn't happen just yet. It has yet to happen. But it will happen because I'm setting the intention. I'm imagining myself. I'm seeing myself. I'm feeling how it feels like to actually be in their space and to now bring them into my present state so you will realize just like how we've done with a lot of things that we think about that has been negative that does not that hasn't served us at all it really has hurt us it has damaged us it really have done so much harm to us because of the fact that we even today you know it's like things that we think about in the past that has hurt us and it cripples us it actually paralyzes us because we don't want to move because we don't want to hurt or Get, get be damaged by that situation but it's interesting we keep bringing our past into our present every time you keep meditating on what has happened to you in the past you keep bringing it into your present so since that happened and it seems true then that means that the opposite is true so you can also bring your future into your present and the way that you go about it i already shared with it, with you on how to do that put your pictures up start imagine imagining and feeling your way seeing yourself every day Declare it and proclaiming that I am that, that this is what you are doing. Speak it in the present tense and keep up with it. Don't quit. Keep at it until you see it come to pass. If this was a blessing for you guys, which I hope it was, make sure that y'all share. Share, share, share. You can like it all you want, but I really want you to share it because you're going to reach people that is beyond my reach. So the way that I'm going to reach the masses is by you know connecting with you and partnering with you by you sharing it on your page if you found value with this